Morning. We are at Tavern on the Village here in Prairie Village, Kansas. We're with Zeb Humphrey, executive chef here. Thanks so much for joining us today. You're welcome. Obviously, participating in Restaurant Week, a great cause and some great items. What are we going to make today? Uh, today, we're going to be doing uh, pancetta or prosciutto wraps, uh, divers and scallops with uh, crispy polenta cakes, uh, red pepper agadolce, and some grilled asparagus. Sounds amazing. Let's uh, get started. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is the uh, is the uh, red pepper agadolce. Okay. We'll start with a little bit of oil. You can add your capers and uh, minced garlic, and you can let those kind of toast up. You're really looking for kind of the aromatics in there. You get them kind of toasted, um, and toasted garlic is just a great flavor to it. Uh, then you're gonna add a little bit of chili flake. It's gonna add the heat to it. It's gonna add some spice, and let that kind of toast. And this only toasts for like 30 seconds, not too long. Um, you just want to get some of the heat out of it. And then from there, you're gonna add uh, this banana peppers, uh, red onions, red peppers, thyme, and rosemary. You can add that all in there. Some brown sugar. The brown sugar um, has the molasses in there, which is a nice flavor with the rest of this stuff. And then you want this to melt completely. From there, you're going to add your vinegar. So that's red wine vinegar that we're adding. Uh, the tomatoes, these are just roasted uh, Roman tomatoes, They've been chopped up. And then you've got just a little bit of chicken stock because you're going to want some juice in there so you're yep. not going to burn everything. So you add the chicken stock. And you're just going to let that cook for probably about an hour, hour and a half. It just right. depends on the consistency you want. So okay. now if you want more sauce, you let it go a little bit less. If you want a more of a compote, thick consistency. From the agriculture, we're going to move on to the polenta. Okay. What you've got is your uh, half milk, half water. And you're going to bring this up to basically a boil. Uh, or basically kind of like a real small sun. You start to get some bubbles on it. And this is a little bit of roasted garlic puree right here. This is the, the cornmeal right here. Polenta is actually the finished dish. Cornmeal is the, is the stuff that makes the polenta. And when you add this, you want to do it just a little bit at a time. If you add it all at once, you end up having a cake. You want to add it while you're stirring it so it stays nice and separated. So once that's completely cooked, you're going to pour it onto a half sheet tray. And then this is what you're going to come up with. And we cut these into circles just because the scallops are serving puts kind of play on it. It's a nice right. build. You can cut them into rectangles, triangles, whatever you want to do with them. And this is just a little bit of cornstarch okay. with salt and pepper. And this is just a really easy dusting. Put them down in the uh, fryer. Give them about uh, about maybe uh, two minutes, minute and a half. You get a nice and golden brown. Yep. These are the uh, these are the diver sea scallops. These have already been wrapped with the toothpick and that prosciutto. You want to let it set. You don't want to mess with scallops too much. If you, if you go in and you're trying to sear something and move it around all the time, you're not going to let that crust um, So once we get a good brown on one side, we can flip them on the other side, and then we'll finish them like that in the other. Right. Uh, so this is grilled asparagus, and this is just basically with the olive oil, salt, and pepper on the asparagus, and you just grill it off until they're a little bit tender. And then you just finish it with uh, the agri-dolce we made earlier, just right over the top of the scallops. Like that. Perfect. So, Zeb, we have a bunch of the finished products here that uh, will be offered during Restaurant Week. Again, the last week in January, $15 for lunch, $30 for dinner, respectively. What do we have here? Um, this first one right here, this is the scallop that we talked about in the kitchen. Okay. Um, and then right here, this is our 8-ounce filet mignon. And right here, this is one of our most popular desserts, the uh, house-made cinnamon donuts. Um, so these are just little miniature donuts with a little bit of chocolate sauce, and then we've got creme anglaise, which is a French kind of a vanilla uh, dipping sauce. And then the servers here will help pair wine with all of the meals here during Restaurant Week. Last year, $80,000 was raised for harvesters, enough to serve 400,000 meals to those in need. We really appreciate you yeah. participating this year, we love, yeah, and uh, we, we will have all the information posted on our website at kctv5.com.